Hey, everybody. Um, happy Tip Tuesday. And no, I'm not doing another crop. And no, I don't always wear this outfit to every crop. <laughs> um, I decided I am taking off next week. And so I'm trying to double up this week so that I can enjoy my time off. So uh, I just didn't want you all to be making fun of me because I missed my tip Tuesday. So I wanted to, to get it done. So anyways, I do have another idea that I stumbled across today. We, I love doing punch combinations and I haven't done one in a while. So I thought I would show you some cool punch combinations using the new star and balloon punch with some other punches that you probably already have. So um, this is really easy to do. You're going to really love it. Um, so I am going to show you some combinations, some, some ones that you can try along with me if you want to. Um, this one works. I think it's called River's Edge, maybe. River something. Um, this one I know is called, in. well, I shouldn't say that. I think it's called Infinity Chain. I'm not going to say I know anything. I totally make up my own names for things. And um, this one, I think, is music, staff, and notes. All right. So when I think of, you know, here we're working with the birthday bonanza. And when I think of birthdays, I think happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So I thought doing balloons and stars with the music and notes would be a great combination. All right. But I have already done one showing that. So I am going um, to demo this um, using River Wave. And then I'll show you my completed page with this music one. All right. So all you do, it's really easy. Let me actually um, change my screen so that I'm not so showing myself how to do this. All right. So don't forget that your border punches have these little lines on them. Today, we're going to use both lines in the same punch. All right. So we're going to go ahead and line this up to the line closest to you. And I'm going to do punch slide until the pattern matches perfectly this one has a little v thing that sticks out that makes this one really easy to match you just match that little v to the blue underneath i'm going to do it twice now this step we don't usually do but we're going to do it this time we are going to slide it down until we line the paper up with the other blue mark okay so I'm just going to mash there. And this time I'm moving it forward this way. I'm gonna have to stand up. Okay. All right, now what I'm gonna do is grab my other punch, the newer one, the star and balloon. And I'm gonna flip, um, flip my punch upside down and fit it in this little hole as centered as I possibly can. I think I've picked one that doesn't work this way. One. Darn. Did I not do two? One, two, three, four, five, six. Were y'all one, two, uh, huh? That's curious. Let's start over again. All righty. I, um, all right, I'm just going to keep going and not explain why that messed up because I think I just didn't do it right. <laughs> I know why. I remember on the other side, I didn't see. Remember how I told you that there was that little triangle thing? When I punched, I didn't see it, which means I didn't go far enough. So let's this time look for that mark. Um, for some reason, I was thinking maybe upside down it doesn't work, but I bet it does work and I didn't go far enough. Uh, there we go. So there's the little triangle. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little blue mark right there. I'm going to put this on top and that way I'll get the six humps and then this will work better. Ah, yeah, genius. So that'll probably happen to some of you. So at least you know that I can do it too. So now we're going to just center it and you'll see that now it's going to center nicely. All right. And what we'll do to clean this up is just trim it off with our little precision point scissors. It probably wasn't right in the middle, but it doesn't matter. It cleans up nicely. All right. Is that super pretty? All right. So to me, this doesn't necessarily have to be rivers, edges, right? It can be confetti. It can be whatever. All right. So let me show you my completed page. Actually, let's not show it to you yet. I'll show you some other samples that I did. 
So this one I made with the infinity. Isn't that pretty? Same exact strategy. And then my finished version I did with the um uh the music notes. All right, so this is birthday bonanza. And I mixed the two and I taught you that the skill I taught you last week, which was just a few minutes ago, <laughs> where I, I punched it out and then added color coordination by punching some other colors to get different colors here. That's how I did that. Um, and if you didn't watch me last week, you just punch it again in a different color and then fussy cut the little elements off and pop them on. The You can see the strings on the balloons here um from my scraps that we have when we do this um the trash from the from the punch for your little strings here the trash from the punch um of the the last one that we did last week a few minutes ago is here the, the little stars and stuff came came out of that um i on purpose i used the black sans serif letters they're smaller and they're great for for titles like this and i kind of bridged the two pieces paper to kind of to bring that together um this is a mat from the mac pack one of the things i really like on birthday bonanza oh we have a phone ringing that something that doesn't happen really often right <laughs> i'm at the church so they actually have a landline <laughs> um but i love a lot of the mats in this pack you can customize the size you know um it could go like that it could go like that on this one, I cut it just as big as I wanted it. Um, I added, um, I popped a little embellishment here that says make a wish. This was a little candle cluster, which was in the embellishment back. The embellishments, by the way, are really shimmery in this line. Super, super pretty. All right. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention, which I wanted to mention just a few minutes ago at my last <laughs> one that I didn't, is... Um, we have different adhesives for a reason. Um, repo is great for something like this. If you try to use anything other than repo, you'd be really mad at yourself. Before you stick it down, make sure the treble clefts are going the, the proper direction so that they're not backwards like I've done before. Um, but if you do goof, remember repo, you can just wipe it off and flip it over, which is what I did when I did this page. Um, but when I do these little guys, um, all I do is just put little dots with this is pre precision point adhesive. It's got a little bubble here in the middle. Um, our one that we had years ago, it's not the same. The one that we had years ago, it always gummed up and you'd have to run it under, you know, hot water to get it dispensed. With this one, you just kind of squish this and, and it comes out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do. I'm going to go a little squish, squish. A little bit of blue came out. I'm going to lick my finger and go grab a star from over here in my trash pile. And I'm going to go stick it right there. All right, so it's a really fast procedure. Um, and it, if any of the little, I'm going to put a little a little dot right there too. And I'm going to go grab another piece of trash from this trash spot. Um, if a little bit of blue squishes out, no big deal uh, because it dries clear. Um, so don't worry if you, you know, put a little bit too much, it'll be okay. Um, but that's a really fast process and you won't have to pull your hair out. Um, it works really, really easy with the precision point adhesive. All right. So I'm going to change my screen and I am going to say farewell. Uh, my cropper should be here any minute, but I sure do appreciate y'all watching me and, um, I will kind of miss you all next week. Um, this week. Um, but um, I, I sometimes you just have to give your body some rest. So that's what I'm doing next week. And I will be back. You won't even miss me because you're going to see me next week, even though I'm not really going to see you, but I don't really see you anyways. But <laughs> thanks again. Um, thanks for watching. Y'all have an amazing week too. And I hope you get your rest. The summer is almost over. Um, and I have enjoyed um, you working with you guys um, 